One out of every 45 children in the Garden State has some form of autism. Dr. Walter Zaharadny analyzed the numbers for the CDC's report. Not only did we have the highest prevalence of autism, but that the prevalence trend, as has been growing in the last decade, hasn't peaked yet. Boys are five times more likely than girls to have autism in New Jersey. One in 28 boys are autistic compared to one in 133 girls. Over 3% of boys in New Jersey are autistic. Although the state's premier resources do lead some families with autistic children to move here, most autistic children living in the state were born here. And it's actually increased, so whatever's at play seems to affect the boys even more so than it did a decade ago. Why? Researchers can't say for sure. Men tend to have a higher rate of a lot of psychological, behavioral, and health disorders. Dr. Gerard Costa is the director of Montclair State University's Center for Autism. He speculates male prevalence could have something to do with a baby's development in the womb. The fetal brain is primarily a female brain. And it becomes a male brain at certain critical parts of fetal development by the introduction of certain chemicals. In 2013, after data for this latest study was compiled, the definition of autism changed. Asperger's and Rhett are no longer on the autism spectrum. But Dr. Zaharadny says they'll be able to parse their past data with future findings. The State Department of Health Commissioner says New Jersey has one of the best systems in the nation for identifying, diagnosing, and documenting children with autism spectrum disorders, making us one of only four states with an autism registry. Approximately 12,400 are registered. Alana Graziosi says when her daughter was diagnosed with autism, she was able to get her evaluated right in her own community and start her at school early, working with a well-trained teaching staff. Living in New Jersey has definitely been an advantage for us. She's, I would say, indistinguishable. Dr. Zaharadny will next be researching what causes autism. He'll be looking in the womb and into early childhood development. He's also going to be questioning if air pollution in New Jersey could have anything to do with autism. At Rutgers Health Sciences Campus in Newark, I'm Christy Duffy, NJTV News.